Today we're going to continue my series about Redbubble and we're going to talk about something that is rather hard to do when you just start up, defining your target customer. If you succeed, and I say if because it is really not easy to make it on print on demand stores. But if you succeed, the store, the website where you sell your things will probably provide you with a lot of information about what sells and how much. But when you first start out, you don't have that information available to you. So you must create this potential customer in your own mind and hopefully on paper as well. This will help you to create the right art and choose the right products when you know who you are trying to reach. So today I'm going to show you one way you can do this when you have no statistics to go from. And there are three areas that you need to think about. The first one is demographics, age, gender, location, where do they live, income level, all of that. The second area is psychographics. What are they interested in? What are they hob their hobbies? What values do they have? What are their personality? Are they outgoing? Are they shy? Just try to figure one person when you set this up. The third area is behavior. Are they frequent online shoppers or do they do a majority of their shopping in stores? Are they on a budget or are they spending a lot of money on clothes, for example? All of this is important when you try to create that target customer in your mind. So to, do, to help you with this, we have five questions you can try to answer when you build this avatar or this potential customer. Question number one is, how old are they? It is a big difference to create with kids as your potential customer or create for a 45-year-old woman that just became a lonely nester and have a lot of time for herself, which she never had when she had kids. So what age range are you imagining your customer to be? What are their interests? What do they do outside of work? Even what do they work as can be an important part of building these customers. What do they do after work? Are they very family oriented? Are they dog persons or cat persons? Do they have any specific hobbies? Number three is where do they live? And this is important because creating for a person that living in the countryside, maybe far away from stores, or creating for a person that lives within a big city have different challenges. Question number four is, what are their purchasing behavior? Do they shop whenever they feel for it? Or are they on a monthly budget and go in and look for the products they really need once a month? Do they prefer to shop online? Or do they go to an actual physical store? And the last question is, how does your potential customer interact with social media? This question will help you decide where you will put your time and energy when it comes to spreading your products to social media. Is this a per person that spends time on Instagram or is it a Facebook user? There are very big difference in general between the two and it's important that you know which platform you want to use to reach your customers. When you have created this persona that you believe could be your potential customer, 
There are a couple of questions you can ask yourself that can help you set your store apart. The first one is what unique styles and aesthetics is hard to find on the platform you are selling on for this target group? Is there something that's missing? For me, I create mostly for Redbubble and if I have a clear customer in mind, I can go in and search for things and see if there is something that is missing for this customer group. And that can help me create my art and my products. The second question is, what specific products do I think this potential customer are interested in? If I imagine a customer that has very limited budget, but still want to express themselves, maybe I should focus on stickers. When it comes to the woman in 4550 that is an empty nester now and have more time for herself, maybe she is more interested in household articles. And the third one, which can be difficult, but it's worth a try. Is there any specific problems or difficulties or challenges that I could help solve with my product. With that in mind, let's now try to make this potential customer. I believe that my customer is 25 to 34, somewhere in that age group. I believe it's not one or another gender. I think it's a gender neutral audience. I think they are with no children right now. I think this person is very artistic, colorful, love to express themselves and stand out and will not look for any cookie cutter. They are looking for things that are different and unique. I think it's someone that like to express themselves with their t-shirts or their coffee mugs. They like to make statements. I think they're living either in the sub suburbs or in a smaller city somewhere. I don't think they live in a big city. They might go to college or be early in their career, which I think is something very creative. I think this is an artistic person and I think they're working creatively somehow or at least their work might be just to survive and their passion is their after work when they can express themselves artistically or creative. Can be music, can be video creation, can be painting, but something creative. I think they prefer to shop online quick and easy or if they go to a store, I think they are very aware and want to support small business owners. I think they are on a restrictive budget, so they love to get a good deal. They like things that are on the lower price side. And lastly, I think this person is very active on social media. So with that in mind, I wrote a description. My target audience is made up of fun-loving and quirky individuals who are between ages 25 and 30. They have a strong appreciation for art and design and love incorporating color into their lives. They are always on the lookout for unique and creative products that reflect their colorful and artsy personalities. My designs are perfect for those who want to add a pop of color to their homes or wardrobes and love to express their individuality through their style. They are active on social media and are always looking for the next big trend. My designs will appeal to those who want to stand out from the crowd and make bold statements with their fashion choices. I create designs that are fun, whimsical and always put a smile on your face. 
I hope that these questions will help you create your target customer. In my next video, we will take a look at what I can create for this specific customer that I just described for you. And if you want to make sure that you don't miss that, hit the subscribe and the little bell so you get notified. Until next time, bye.